morning. This is Jeff Yaldon. How are you? Listen, I want to thank you again for our time together last Wednesday. Mr. Baltimore staff and students, you made me feel really appreciated. You made me feel very wanted. Um, I can't thank you enough. It was a long drive to get there. And at my age, I'm not 22 years old anymore, so I can drive long hours and get little sleep and still be ready to rock and roll. So you made everything worth it. I will never forget Ada Junior High School for the rest of my life, my career. And I'll always walk away thinking, I like those kids from Oklahoma. All right, man. Hey, students, I've been uh, thinking, and I know this week you have a big week ahead of you. Starting tomorrow, we got to buckle up and uh, we got to prepare for some tests. You know that I never did that well, and I never did well on tests, and I just didn't do that well. But listen, I'm not sitting here saying you got to be the best. You got to have the best score. You got to have the best grades. I, I don't say that. You heard my message to you, pretty much the four T's, take time to think. I think the other message I wanted to try and convey to you is my life never came down to great ability, great intelligence, but it always came down to my choices every day and the attitude I have. Having said that, I think that's what I want to talk to you about for a second here before you get up into these tests this week. Your attitude and your choices. Your choices. What I want you to do, what I hope you do is I hope you go into this week and take these tests as serious as possible. Your teachers work long hours trying to prepare you to be able to do pretty well in these tests or just to do the best you can. And in a way that you can help them and show your appreciation, you get a good night's sleep tonight. Turn that cell phone off. You don't need to be texting to midnight, 1, 2 in the morning. You get a good night's sleep tonight. You get up early and you have a good breakfast. I think those are two choices that you can make over the next couple of days. Attitude. Go into school every day and thinking you got it. Say hello to your friends. Say, hey man, how you doing? You see the game last night. Let's not be ribbing each other this week because you don't know what joking around someone's going to take seriously and think that you're really making fun of them. Let's not be making fun of anybody. Let's support. Let's encourage. Let's laugh together. Let's think together and let's be present with each other this week. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it fun. But most of all, just do the best you can, man. No one expects anything more of you than you just doing the absolute best you can. And I promise you, like these tests and like anything in life, if you do the best you can every day, you're going to do all right. Hey, again, I want to thank you. I'll always be a part of Ada, Oklahoma, and you'll always be a part of me. To the staff members that I met, thank you so much for teaching young people. I think education is the greatest profession in the world. Mr. Baltimore, thank you for having me and working so hard to bring me to your community and for giving me the awesome reception in which you did. And students, thank you for listening to my message and taking it to heart. I got a lot of emails from parents. I got some messages from you guys. But all in all, what a great time we had. So listen. You get up tomorrow morning, you clap your hands three times, and you say, this day is going to be a great day. Go in, do the best you can, make sure you're eating healthy, make sure you're getting proper sleep, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, and up in your head, you got to be like, yo, I got this, man. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks, my friends.